unfortunately we don't at the moment, but maybe we can change that. Tell me. Okay. I hear that you need some clothes. Yeah. So actually right now we don't have anything like that on campus, but this actually could probably be useful for that if you want to help me. This is our old bookstore from last semester. Um, unfortunately, uh, we don't know as a student campus why we've been out of business, but this empty room is just being used for nothing right now. But there's a lot of resources already here that we could use for a thrift store. If you guys wanted to donate your clothes or anything like that so we could start this business. Over here, for example, we have a little office space that could be used to keep the cash box at night and it can be used for the hiring process for volunteers or anybody that worked the store. And in here we just have a storage space for maybe some extra clothes if we were blessed enough to get that many clothes. Or we could even use it for a laundry service so we can take in dirty clothes and clean them before we have to give them away. That's a great idea. We could probably even use a register up there and I know for a fact that they have the old cash box from the bookstore. So the bookstore is already equipped to sell and resell items, so all we have to do is get the items. I'm sure plenty of students around campus would be willing to donate their clothing. So now that we've established a space for it to be in, what else do we maybe need? I know we need the clothes, but those can be taken by donation. Mm -hmm. We need hangers and we need uh, clothing racks as well. That's right, and I think the cost of those, um, I know the theater club has some clothing racks that we're looking to give away actually, so we oh, could wow. use some of those. Um, clothing hangers, um, we could take a fund with maybe like a hundred and get a plenty, mm -hmm. plenty of hangers, just like the plastic ones from Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, we might need a washer and a dryer. Yeah. Clean the clothes as they come in. That would be about 500. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, what else do we need? Plus we like detergents. We have the cash box because oh, okay. they have the one from the old bookstore. Um, I think just the clothing racks, the hangers, the washer and dryer, and you know some detergent and stuff like that. But after the first round of detergent and fabric softeners, yada yada, that would all come out of the profit of the store because if we take donations and sell the clothes for like four or five dollars a piece because we got them for free, we didn't have to buy them, uh, then the rest of that stuff could come out of the profits other than what uh, if we don't have volunteers and we have paid workers, it could come out of what is left over. I think we're all set other mm -hmm. than that. Yeah, and the only thing to add is just um, detergent for the washing. Yeah. You can't just use water. <laughs> yeah, the first round of that would be purchased with um, the fund mm -hmm. that we would receive, and then whatever comes after that would just come out of whatever we earn from selling the clothing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that sounds like a great idea for AWC. Thank you for watching our video. In conclusion, the total amount of money would be less than $4,000, which includes washing machine, detergent, racks, hangers, and all the setup we would need for the store. It would require a lot of student body help, but I've seen a lot with Andale's Pantry doing contests to see which club could donate the most food. I'm sure we could do something like that to donate clothes, and I know a lot of mainstream businesses around here, like JCPenney and Dillard's, when their clearance clothing goes off of clearance it really has nowhere to go and they used to donate their clothes to goodwill so i'm sure we could rally up some employees who work there or even see what we can do about that so the total would be less than four thousand dollars reaching at about three thousand and four hundred dollars for everything that we would need all we need is a student body this presentation has been brought to you by angel young natalie rodriguez and samantha plante